Now, there's lots of times that we put tray flashings in. And traditionally, we have a flat tray flashing with a feather at the ends. But what we are tending towards now is actually using a standing seam design for our tray flashings. And the reason is that it, it gives us a rib at the end of the sheet, which gives you the strength, but it also traps the flow of water between the two ribs. So you don't, if you have a massive tray flashing, you don't get water that runs over the feather and onto the pans and overloading the pans next to it. So the water is contained within that, that seam, which is quite a wide seam in this instance. Um, and we don't have to put in angles to divert the water because the water is contained within the pan. So how does the standing seam work? Let's say little mini seam it's, and it's it's quite simple we've got we've got the first one so it's got fold comes up and the fold that comes down and and this second flashing is a repeat of the first one so they're all they're all virtually the same so this one goes in first and this one just sits like so, right on top of it so with that, you've got two trays, and this can vary in width. And in, in, in this instance, you've got one that's quite wide. It goes all the way across there. It's, uh, it's over a meter wide, this one. This one's only about 100 wide. And if you've got a super wide tray flashing, you don't need to have a screwed and silicon joint every time you've got a lap because you're introducing a standing seam, which is the lap. And all you need to do is, we can seal the underside, or that's not really required. This goes over the top. It's got a little bit of play. A bit of play there. Right. And we can have a screw on the side, or a screw up the top. So you would go in and put a screw there, or a screw there, and the job's done, you, and it's a nice neat finish, and you don't need a screwed and silicon joint every time that you have a side lap. So we are tending towards using standing seams a lot more than just the traditional tray flashing when we have a super wide tray flashing.